Hey, what's going on everyone? I am currently on spring break right now. One thing that I haven't really done since I've left Texas is kind of go see everyone that I know. Uh, I've been in Austin a couple times since the pandemic, but uh, I haven't been down to uh, Houston since. Um, and I also haven't seen my guys at Goldie's yet. So um, that's gonna be uh, the start of the trip. So I'm, I'm in Chicago right now and I'm gonna be driving down there uh, just because one, I kind of enjoy a long ride and it's a nice time to kind of uh, think through a lot of things that's going on. It's gonna be about 14 hour drive today, uh, maybe 15. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna bring you guys along for the journey. Hope you guys enjoy. So I just passed the border of Missouri and uh, I saw uh, a gas station slash firework shop slash hot, uh, hot sauce place called Boomland and I'm a sucker for hot sauces. So I'm gonna take a little break from driving and uh, we're gonna pick out a good hot sauce. I went in and picked up two hot sauces. So, uh, It'll show up in a future video. All right, so I'm taking a little pit stop uh, on my ride and found another barbecue spot, so I'm gonna check it out. So just a quick review on tops. Potato salad, either it was gonna be just gonna be all mustard with a little bit of mayo, which it was, or it was gonna be like white and just be mayo, uh, which I don't really mind. I kind of like potato salad like that anyway, so it was good. Uh, I knew the beans were gonna be really overly sweet. Um, I grew up eating beans like that, so I don't mind them, but I just can't eat a lot of them. So just that like perfect, si that size cup right there, that's, uh, I didn't even really finish it. Uh, the pork sandwich, honestly, was pretty good. I don't think that I would be able to tell that it was smoked. Like maybe it was like a little kiss of smoke. It tasted pretty good and they didn't put too much sauce on it. And then there was a little bit of slaw at the bottom too. So uh, it might've been slightly under seasoned for my liking, but in terms of like what I like in a pork sandwich, it was great. Like the meat was actually still pretty good. A light sauce and a little bit of slaw and on a squishy bun. And all of that with the drink was like less than 10 bucks for a quick barbecue lunch or, or just a snack like I'm doing right now. It was exactly what I was looking for. So this place also has a drive through and uh, I was gonna go through it just for the experience, but I kind of wanted to sit down and eat it. When I first started getting into barbecue, you know, I was watching a lot of Triple D and a lot of Travel Channel and a lot of kind of like these type of barbecue places that I've always wanted to go to. Um, one of them that's kind of similar to this place, uh, but I think the food is way better is like Interstate Barbecue. Uh, it's one place that I remember going to like when I was like 17 or 18 or something like that. Um, and it kind of gave me those kind of old school vibes, which I really like. So it just kind of, it felt cool to eat at places like this because these are one of those places and the feeling of it and the way that like, it's just kind of like, here's your sandwich, here's like your small sides. It's just kind of all put together like really quickly. And those were the type of barbecue restaurants that initially got me interested in wanting to kind of delve in. So coming to a place like this kind of felt like full circle in terms of like, where I wanted to go in terms of barbecue in the beginning to what I did and like trying to eat this food now. Um, it's obviously much different than what I like to do, but it is fun to kind of re-explore that barbecue that I've always kind of like wanted to try. So that's the end of this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one.